most important thing like angular i feel like angular because as we are going through angular it might be yeah, easy to reference to understand like yeah. so yeah even because, i feel um, those things are for resume purpose like yeah. we want to keep something in resume mm -hmm. about that resume thing when interview comes if we keep it in yeah. resume at that at that point of time you can even explain exactly. yeah so these three topics like cqrs and in the cqrs what is command and what is query and what is the basic difference between them i think we can defer that one next is uh, <coughs> dependency injection so i think we should cover dependency injection mm -hmm. so that you better correlate with in angular also how it is uh, working and how angular solves that problem what basically di is solving first we have to understand that so that we think we, we should do okay next is inversion of control and inversion of control is some high level concept like like you said it's more of design we can talk this one we can park this and we can come back later on this one right okay so so uh, inversion of control we will talk later okay this will talk later this will talk later but di we should do and then and once we do di then in the angular what we should do uh, is like there are three things that we are thinking right one is component based application what exactly it is and what is di and how it works in angular and how many types of uh, directives are there these are the things that we want to cover let's say so let's do again here in the di part so that way we can correlate like what exactly dependency injection is and then how it works in angular um, uh, <coughs> application right so we can continue with this like what is dependency injection and how we solve that in angular and uh, and then we will see other stuff like uh, what exactly component component based programming and how uh, component metadata are used to actually create the angular component right and then angular component uh, itself is solving many problems and what are those problems right that will be we'll cover here and is just the angular does that or many other framework does that for example vue js or react js are they also doing component based programming so those kind of uh, things uh, right and then what is that at the rate component metadata is what exactly is made for what is happening under the hood what if if i will not write anything inside that what is the minimum property that i have to write in the at the rate component those kind of discussion is important to have so you know that there is selector there is this and that so which one is this. important and uh, why i write all of them those kind of things we will discuss and then how many types of directives is just like same um, it is in built things like how many different categories of directives they have like some of them are structure like structure is changing when you apply the directive like star uh, asterisk when you apply asterisk and put them directive they are changing the actual hierarchy and the structure of that uh, component so based on that they have divided some of them right so that way uh, you'll get you'll get some general knowledge in angular and then and then we'll proceed more uh, on on how we integrate uh, with rxjs thing right how rxjs is integrated in angular so those are the other things that we should cover at some point but we'll defer those again till you continue your own uh, learning and validations and all that you did more uh, those are more on uh, the forms and i think uh, question comes on that side also like um, how many uh, types of forms uh, we use right how many types is it reactive form or it is a just a regular form mm -hmm. or it is a template or something like that right those kind of Uh, again this has this has also confusion like when should i use reactive when should i just go with regular when should i just do template why there are three types um what is com component reference what is component reference to and all of that right mm -hmm. so if there are many options then it creates confusion and from there on, around only you will get interview questions mm -hmm. so which are very straight for like input output you know them what are the um event life event cycles of uh, event uh, cycle of uh, component like life cycle events of component that those are mostly uh, once you know them you read them you know 
uh, okay, init is this, destroy is this, and then those events, those are more of like remembering because definition are concrete and then you just remember it and, and you do it and then you know it. But there are options like in this area, so you need to know so that you choose the proper option. So unless you don't know, you cannot choose. That's the uh, thing. And then we'll try to know. So let's start with uh, DI first and then we'll go.